Some guests don't need an introduction hey. like this man. So I won't even bother. It's the one, the only Tony Howes. Oh, lovely. How are you, mate? You I'm, well? I'm right. How are you? Very well indeed, actually. Better than Bernie, it seems. Yeah, Poor old Bernie. Give him my love. Hope he's listening. Of course. Of course. So uh, you've been busy, haven't you? You've always been. I've been busy, You're yeah. always busy every time you I've come in. I've been busy. I've been on ITV this week. Oh, on no. Hard One in as a windmill. <laughs> oh, yes. Showbiz at the bottom end. <laughs> yes, I'm big in Holland now. I'm a windmill, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. If you didn't see it, uh, it is a Saturday night show. Yeah. Bradley Walsh presents Jason Manford, uh, Peter Andre, and they four people come out, and you have to guess which one is actually the thing that they're describing. Correct. And it was human windmill. And just explain for everyone what you were wearing. Well, I was dressed as a windmill. <laughs> <laughs> I was dressed as a windmill. You know, Peter Andre's going. I can tell he's an entertainer, mate. That one's definitely an entertainer. So I'd have said I was a crazy golf course from down in Devon. You yeah. It's not again tomorrow on ITV One after Elton John tomorrow night with oh, Piers right, Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that because Elton John is a link to Northampton. To Northampton. I was yeah. there the other night. Did you go? I didn't go. No, oh, was it good? Fantastic. Was it good? It's a little bit funny. This feeling inside. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> really good. Yeah, yeah. We were there, all the Northampton folks. It's strange being in Northampton in Elton John in I know. that window. I know. It's, it's very, very odd. Yeah, I know. But it was a fantastic... Everyone I, I know that went said what a great night it he was. was great. And did all the hits. And, Fabulous. You know. Rocket man. <laughs> loved it. Absolutely loved it. And if yeah. you haven't turned up, you could have done it, Tony. I would have done it. I'd have done it, yeah. It's was, very good. Uh, was doing something like that a fun experience? Now, uh, someone was saying that the guy that was next to you, who was pretending to be the boxer, oh, is yeah. also from Northampton. That's right. He is David somebody. I didn't That's know right. him. He's, That's uh, right. He's got a big beard. He does Santa. Yeah, and there was another Paris. guy called Frank... Yes. Who played the big Frank, you know, the northern chap. Hello. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm Frank, and you know, I'm, a, I'm a king, like, you yeah. know. That northern one. Yes. He's actually from Northampton. <laughs> we did Much Ado About Nothing. Yeah. The Shakespeare playing the part when I was 12, <laughs> and he was about 15. <laughs> so, I mean, he's, he's, he's in Regent's Park at the moment doing a show, oh, you know. Right. But, I mean, it's amazing, really. It's small, good old Northampton. No, no, providing... And I'm working with Weeks Baptiste. You know, Weeks, the lovely Weeks Baptiste? Yeah. Yeah, we're do I'm doing my Midsummer Night Stream mm -hmm. at Wellingborough. Mm -hmm. And he's written a new play called Priceless. And we're doing that on October the 14th. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let you know later. That's the Wellingborough yeah. Castle Theatre. So, so the there's a few of us Northampton talented chaps around. Before we get talking about Midsummer Night Stream, the, the odd one in thing, was that doing something like that, being a part yeah. of, a, of a massive show, was that enjoyable or was it a bit like Shuffle on Shuffle off? Well, I mean... It, the thing is, I think you've got to have an open mind in this business. You know, because like, I did Emmerdale last year, then I did Midsummer Murders, then I did Doctors, I played a broomy bloke in Doctors. <laughs> and, I, and I've done all sorts of things. But and I've also done a lot of variety stuff, because I worked with Brian Connolly and all that lot in the past, and Bradley Walsh. So I thought, get yourself on television. It's Saturday night television. It's got exposure. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I've just done this Max Miller thing. That's right. Um, this is, this is um, uh, what happened was that the, uh, it was, um, I can't remember his name now, Greg, Greg, the, Greg Dyke did a... Yeah, uh, Michael Grade. Michael Grade, sorry. Grade. Michael yeah. Grade looked back at Variety, didn't he? On Correct. Kind of uh, the history of Variety. And then to couple it, yeah. they did an old-style Variety show, didn't they? Correct. And you played... Max Miller. Max Miller. I like the girls that do, I like the girls that don't. <laughs> I hate the girls that say they will, then they say they won't. But a girl I like the best of all, I'm sure you're saying right, is a girl who says she never does, but she looks as though she might be. <laughs> it's all that sort of stuff, yeah. you know. And, and uh, just brilliant. Brilliant at it. Oh, and, yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to buy my Mrs. Aprazia. One like Northampton Sound Football Club. All support, no cups. <laughs> hey. You know, that all that sausage, you know, and it's yeah. sort of like... Um, so I did that. That mm. was on the, the Max Miller thing. And then yeah. I'm doing that again at Greenwich mm. as a theatre show this week with Colin Sell, the guy from... We worked it out on Radio 4. Yeah. We Barry Cryer's Barry Cryer's, yeah, that's right. Um, he's on the piano. And, and, and doing stuff like that, there is a bit of a kind of look back now, isn't there, variety? People want Absolutely. acts like yourself oh, I'm who are multi Old acts, old acts. <laughs> no, multi with old material. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right, because I, I tap dance to sing, thanks to Denise pitt Draff and it. Northampton. I trained at Abington Avenue opposite Elton John's place, funny yeah. enough. Um, and I was the only guy in a tutu. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so that was um, that was quite fun. I loved the tap dance. No, you fell in the sink. The Irish tap dance. Oh, you fell in the sink. That's right. Yeah, but no, I mean, people like Les Dawson that I used to love. Yeah. I knew it was the mother-in-law at the door. The lads were throwing themselves on the traps. 
All those old <laughs> gags. Do you know what I mean? I used to love that. That was very good. Do you like I don't that think one? I've heard you, Les Dawson, before. No, I, mean, Les, oh, I love Les Dawson. Yeah, yeah it's great. Old Les. Absolutely it's fantastic. Great. I'm not saying she's tight, but she gets a 50 pence pieces out with a spanner. <laughs> uh, and I used to love all those sort of old gags. And, yeah. But no, I'd, I started off doing impressions, you know, mm. like John Inman. Ooh, yeah, mm. shame, free, but you're slow, come out, free. <laughs> and a man goes in to buy a, a, his wife a brasier. Mm. He, said, I'll a, he said, I'll have a size 14 brasier, please. And John says, ooh, you've got that wrong, sir, a size 14. It must be a size 32, 34, <laughs> 36, A, B, C, or D. I said, no, no, it's definitely a size 14. What makes you think that, sir? Well, my hat's, my hat's a size 7. That fits one of them. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's all a bit seaside yes, postcard, yes. you know, which is where I am at my age, you know. <laughs> but I mean, it's, um, yeah, I still love what I do. I still mm. love the Shakespeare. Mm. I still love, you know, the Midsummer Murders was on last week, a little bit of money coming in. <laughs> it's not easy in the acting profession as no. it isn't in any profession at the moment mm. because the recession, <laughs> the old credit crunch. I've heard that Marks and Spencers have joined up with Pound Stretchers now. They're going to be called Stretch Mark. <laughs> <laughs> the old game. <laughs> uh, but the Midsummer, the Midsummer Night's Dream, yes. uh, you did, did that one-man show, didn't you, most recently down in Evesham, is that right? Well, I did. I did at the Evesham Art Centre, and just by luck, and this is complete luck, uh, Michael Corbidge, the, the sound voice coach at the Royal Shakespeare Company mm. was in and a guy called Peter Lennon who's a great friend and asked me to go and play Puck on the open day at the Royal Shakespeare Company. Wow. So I played Puck. How nice for it with a one to you. <laughs> at the Royal Shakespeare Company on their open day on the 12th of June this year which for me was a dream come true and I actually got the cheque the other day from the Royal Shakespeare Company and I've, I've put it in a frame. You've actually been paid by the Royal Shakespeare Company which was a, a dream come true. Now this open day was this where kids came around is that right? It was that that's right, and I did a workshop on... I played Cheryl Cole Lake <laughs> as the fairy. <laughs> over hill, over dale, through a bush, through a briar. I had to wander everywhere, Lake. You know, and that the kids kind of make Shakespeare more yeah. accessible. Uh, and um, it must be great, because I was, I was talking to someone else the other day about Shakespeare and saying when you read it on the page, especially when you're at school, it's difficult. Right. It's really difficult to penetrate. But when you see someone perform it, especially someone like yourself who's enthusiastic and yeah. can relate to the kids, it comes alive it for does. them, doesn't it? You know, it's all that... I mean, it's quite cheap some of it, you know. Mm. When a man's servant, she'll play the car with him, look you, it goes hard. <laughs> when I brought up a puppy, when I say from drowning, when three or four of his blind brothers and sisters went to it, when they sell see me, heave up my leg and make water against the gentlewoman's farthing <laughs> eel. Oh! It's, you know, yeah. it's quite comical. Mm. And it, it's how you, you make it fun, really. I've played... Yeah. I've given my bottom, as they say, <laughs> in the park, at Regent's Park. I've played bottom. Um, well, you've done it all. Done it, yeah. Done you've done all, you've done all the parts, because you do it on your own. You'll I do that one. Yeah. That's the one. Uh, so that's uh, at Wellingborough on the 14th of October, if people want to come and see that. And hopefully I'm going to do it in Northampton soon as well. I'll let you know. Yeah, it's a very popular show that you do. You've done that quite often, haven't I you? I have now. I've done it about three or four or five years now, mm. because it, it, and I put songs in it. So I'm making a close every door to me. Each character has a, a song to mm. make... It gives it just, it the, just the makes, youngsters yeah. a, a break from the Shakespeare. Then when I come back, they love it again. <laughs> uh, and then uh, people won't be surprised to know that you are a big hit in Panto, and you're going to be in Panto and Kettering. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> oh, no, you're yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my career is behind me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm at Kettering this year, at yeah. the Lighthouse. And just by luck, mm. I auditioned in London for the Shaw Theatre. Mm -hmm. And years ago, I did me and my girl for a chap called Jerry Tebbit who's directing the panto at Kettering, and the producer said, would I come and do the Northampton one? I said, well, I'm local, I'd love it. I'm on radio Northampton quite a lot as well, and I can plug the show, hopefully, <laughs> and I'm playing Buttons. Fantastic. So I don't know who's playing Cinderella yet, or the Ugly Sisters, <laughs> but, you know, the old gags. Oh, the prince's balls get bigger every year. You know, all that stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I, I play Buttons, you know, it's quite fun, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good part. It's oh, it's great. Yeah. It, it's got all those bits. Oh, Cinders, I'm really clever. Yeah, I've finished, I've finished a jigsaw in six months. <laughs> it said on the side of the box, two to three years. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that stuff. You know, then I sing a few numbers, you yeah. know. Every afternoon when the clock's right, Takes four, da, 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 in a bit of, you know. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that, you know. And in between, I do children's parties, mm. so that keeps me ticking on. Mm. I'm, I'm on a website, www.tonyhouse.co.uk. You watch me clips on Emmerdale, play the yeah. Blue Man, and I do children's entertainment. There's a whole load of clips on there. Uh, so you're going to be in the Panto in Kettering, Midsummer Night's Dream uh, in Wellingbury in October. Yeah, in the castle. I'm uh, Greenwich this week. Uh, 
uh, and Greenwich this week, and you can find out more on Tony's website, tonyhouse.co.uk. We've run out of time, Tony. Oh, sorry, it mate. It always flies by with you. My, can I give my love to Sharon, you everybody? Can t- yes, oh, go Glenn, on. I've got to say hello to anybody. Rosemary, yesterday I did a little do for her in the garden. My dad, John, my brother Ian, and all my lovely friends. Anybody I've missed, Paul, everybody that I love. They, they, they know they are. Yeah. Weeks, everybody. Love you <laughs> lots. Love you, love you, love you, Northampton. <laughs> Thank you very much, Other Tony. cobblers. <laughs> 